Hey guys, Jordi won't be here today because as you might have heard, they broke into our studio last week and Jordi isn't really in the mood right now. So you're gonna have to do it with me today. Adobe just came with a brand new Premiere Pro update again but this time they actually made it a lot better let's take a look do you remember keyframing and then suddenly this super annoying autosave would pop up yeah i hated it so much that i turned off autosave completely and guess what happened next yeah pr premiere crashed now luckily that will never happen again because now they've put autosave in the background where it belongs next i prefer editing on a windows pc but sometimes when i'm traveling i need to use my old macbook premiere behaves a little bit different on a mac every time when i'm zooming in or scrolling in the timeline this bug would appear where everything would jump from from big to small and yeah scrolling would not go smooth at all now with this update they finally fixed it not only the timeline is super smooth now also the other panels feel like they just got oiled amazing it's time to show you guys a brand new secret panel it's right here on the top right and if you click it the progress dashboard will open up here you can see the things premiere is doing in the background so next time when you notice premiere slowing down you can see why this could be happening for example when you're transcribing a video of someone talking now what is a talking video without music absolutely nothing you really need need music to set the mood and tone in your videos. It plays a huge role in whether the viewer will like your content or not. And that's why I want to show you audio where you can download all kinds of music and sound effects. And they're also sponsoring this video by the way. You can download literally anything you can imagine. When I'm editing these Premiere Basics episodes I always use audio because with the filters it's so easy to find exactly what you need. And as you can see they're adding new tracks all the time. You can even use them without having to worry about monetization or copyright issues. And on top of that very soon they will release a mobile app where you can browse music and create your own playlist from anywhere. If you're making any type of content and want to take things serious, this platform is literally everything you need. Oh, and I almost forgot, you can get 70% off by using the code Premier Basics at checkout. So go check out Audio by clicking the link in the description down below. Okay, let's get back to Premiere. The next feature has already been lurking around in the beta version of Premiere, but now it's finally finished. It's called text-based editing. And this completely changed my workflow, by the way. First, go to window on top and click on text. Now you can see a list with all the clips that are not transcribed yet. Just click the transcribe button and wait until Premiere is done. Now you have a text version of Premiere which you can edit. Select a part of the text that you don't need. Now an in to out point will be selected in the timeline. Now click the extract button or just hit the backspace key on your keyboard. There you go. This way you can go through an entire edit in no time. Next you can see the lift button. If you click this one, Premiere will also cut away your selection but it will leave a gap in between the clips. That's for when you want to add some other footage in between for example. And of course you still need to fine-tune the cuts, but even then it's a huge time saver. They added some other features as well, such as this little button. When you enable this, these dots will appear, which means that there is a pause in your video. If you want, you can also select it and hit the backspace to delete it. Now I really think that this update stepped up Premiere and I can't wait to see what's next, such as a shutter angle option in the effect controls. That way we don't need to use the transform effect anymore if we want to add some motion blur. Also sometimes my keyframes disappear in the effect controls. Now you can fix that bug by waiting your workspace but still it's kind of annoying. Speaking of keyframes, you know, you can ease them and stuff, but you can do so much more with them. So after watching this video, you will understand everything about keyframes. So definitely go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, stay creative.